All right, everybody, this is my first ever attempt at a YouTube video. I don't know anything about editing, so I will do this the best I can. We are staying at the Bent Creek Golf Village. This place is amazing. No, we are not golfers, but we just wanted a quick get away from the house. This wasn't too awful far away. Bent Creek is just outside of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It's called Pittman Center. Some of you may under, may know where that's at. Some of you may not. I highly recommend staying here. The front staff is amazing. They have a text messaging system that will actually, if you need anything, you just send it a message and you will get a personalized message back. It's not just a robot message. It's actually a real person talking to you. They'll send you anything you need. We are currently staying in room 102A. So I'll go ahead and take you inside and show you around. When you first walk in, you'll see there's a little shelf there for you to put your keys and whatever else you may want up there. We've got some toboggans here because it is very cold here right now. Also, when you come straight in from the door, you'll have a coat, coat closet. Plenty enough room for a couple of jackets while you're here. As you turn to the right, you'll see a couple of doors, one to the left, one to the right. I'll show you the one in the right first. <coughs> which that's gonna be the wash and dryer. We are currently washing and drying clothes right now. Sorry about the man. Sorry about the sound. Over here, we just kind of made a makeshift place to set a bunch of our stuff. Those are actually benches that would have went with this little eating area here, but we didn't need the benches because there's just two of us here right now. So we thought we'd repurpose them and it's worked out great. Supplies are dwindling because we're nearing the end of our stay. This room is a connecting room to another room if you so need that. Now I'm gonna turn back around to that door that was on the left and that will take you into the bathroom. When you come in, you'll see there's a sink, but when you get here, it will not be as cluttered as this. There's the mirror and you will see that there's a walk-in shower. It is plenty big enough for whatever you may need is definitely fat man friendly and trust me now that you can see me in the mirror you'll realize why i said that i enjoy a fat man friendly shower they have a really big soaking tub which is absolutely amazing i'm five foot ten i can slide all the way down in it plenty of room still left over plenty wide enough right there is probably the most important place in this building my favorite spot my wife calls it my office chair surprise all right coming back out of there we're going to lead into the living room and the kitchen area so we're going into the kitchen plenty big enough just to be here on vacation no the donuts do not come with the room talk to them maybe we can change that got plenty of stuff here anything you could possibly need to cook also if you go to the front desk they will give you stuff for the grill they just make you sign it out and tell you leave it in the room if you take any piece of the grill and stuff they said it's a 25 dollar charge it is really nice stuff so if you think it's worth 25 bucks you are welcome to take it in the living room you'll see a gas fireplace it is on a 30 minute timer usually when one of us stands up to go get a drink or something we just Give that timer a turn and keep it going. It will make this room plenty hot enough. There's your flat screen TV. And it's got all the stuff down below that you could need to watch a movie. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to take you out on the balcony next. There are two entrances. This is just one of them. Whenever you walk out on the balcony. Our view right now is of a parking lot. Which I think is for the golf course itself. Like I said earlier, we don't golf, so I've not really been down there. I don't really know what it's like down there. You'll see a little gazebo. There's a couple of gas grills there. From what I understand, there are gas grills set up for each individual section of this golf village. I don't know if that building over there shares this grill or if they have a different spot with the grill. I've not been over there yet. You'll see that there is a screened in area also with a table and four chairs obviously come spring and summertime you will be glad that it is screened in because 
nobody wants to be in here and have to share their food with all the different bugs and whatnot that can come around. And I'm going to take you back out. This door that's right here will lead into the bedroom, but I'm going to take you in from the other way. All right, coming into the bedroom, they give you plenty of pillows. Yes, that is more pillows under the sheets and blankets. I just throw them under there to get them out of the way. But you'll see that there is a, another flat screen TV, so if you want to watch TV in bed, go for it. There's the other door going back outside. Takes you to where we was just at. Got an end table. There's one of the telephones. Got another end table over here. I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. There's a fire alarm right here at both another sink where my wife would always get ready at. This is where she'd get ready whenever I'd be in the shower. But the reason I'm telling you about that fire alarm is there's another door here that goes back into that same bathroom. We was warned when we got here that these fire alarms are extremely sensitive. And if you cook, turn the vent fan on because if you don't, you will set off one of these alarms. And if you do, it goes off to the whole building complex. Well, on night two, I got out of the shower, didn't think about it. And sure enough, I walked out, climbed in bed, and then the fire alarm went off. Come to find out the steam from the shower set off the alarm at 11 o'clock at night and everybody in our building complex had to go outside while maintenance came down and figured out what was going on just because I wanted to take a long hot shower. We talked to the people at the front desk. They said that those alarms have been known to go off because of women using a hair straightener there at that desk. So. Just an FYI, if you stay here, be very careful with that hair straightener. But the people here are amazing to deal with. I've had all kinds of questions. They are so happy to answer them. They, they've always gave us a gift every time we've stayed here. It is our second time staying here. It, Like I said, it is just a great little place to get away. Obviously, if you're a golfer, it's probably even better for you. Again, we don't golf. Anyway, that was a not-so-quick quick overview. Hopefully, I will be posting a review of this place in the near future. Thank you all, and have a great day.